This is Matt Does Fitness, and I'm sorry and I apologise for being the same thing. Unless you're at a funeral. Okay, and um, I've made this video very simply to discuss and divulge my stats, um, hence the name. Now, the theory, the thinking is that uh, I get loads and loads of questions about the same thing or on the same thing. I get the same question over and over and over again. Uh, particularly recently, for example, I've been asked what is my height about 50 times. I've been asked my weight, my body fat, etc. So what I thought I would do in this video um, is answer uh, some of your questions. The questions I get asked most frequently. So I'm going to do it in like a quick fire kind of style um, So sit down, relax, get a cup of tea, uh, perhaps a curly whirly and enjoy. Just under six foot two, which I believe is about 187 centimeters. About 95 kilograms, which I believe is about 210 pounds. Um, in my competition recently, I weighed in at like 96 and a half, but that was after a week of eating quite a lot of food, like more than normal. Uh, so yeah, ordinarily about 210, uh, which is about 95 kilograms. I am 28. I live in the county of Kent, which is in South East England, uh, down near the coast. I am a PE teacher. Um, I honestly don't really know. Uh, when I used to compete in athletics, track and field, I think I was about kind of eight, maybe, I don't know, eight to 10% around that region there. I'm pretty sure I, I'm high now because I eat, I'm eating a crazy amount of food. I put on like 10, 15 kilograms, which is like, what, 25, 30 pounds in that time, in the last kind of two years. Uh, so I haven't measured it for a long, long time, but if I had to say guess, I would say kind of low teens, maybe somewhere from 12, I don't know, maybe like 12, possibly 15% in that kind of bracket. That would be my uh, ed educated guess. Now this question always makes me laugh because firstly, um, I don't really see much kind of benefit, much, I don't see, I don't kind of think it holds much weight kind of measuring your arms because if you're incredibly fat, you're gonna have massive arms. So. Yeah, it doesn't really mean much. Um, I've measured my arms once about um, two months ago because people kept asking me, so I know at that point they were like, I think 17, oh, I, I measured that's a lie. I measured them a couple of times and they were kind of, I think between 17 and a half and 18 inches, um, which I guess that's pretty decent, but like I said, I don't think there's much, I can't see much reason for measuring your arms because obviously as your composition changes or from person to person in terms of the amount of body fat you have, yeah, there's going to be big discrepancies there. So you might have a guy that has, physically has bigger biceps and triceps than someone else, but because that guy has a lot of fat or carries fat on his arms, he's going to have bigger arms, so it doesn't really mean much to me. Nope, and I can promise you I never will. Um, when I used to do track and field, I would lift weights then. It was more kind of Olympic lifts, and it was never kind of... It wouldn't frequently be kind of maximal, it was at lower percentages, uh, just looking at speed, like predominantly speed work. So um, I've been lifting weights for a, you know, a long time, a good few years, but again, it wasn't kind of heavy powerlifting type stuff. I've been specifically powerlifting since the start of the year, since January. So in terms of being a powerlifter, I've been doing that uh, for 11 months now. No. I can't discuss that for legal reasons. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, oh, oh baby.